So this is a t tutorial bleh, on how I make quick and easy sock poi. Recycled t-shirts. Simple. Easy. Obviously you can tell I'm tracing patterns. So, you know, I made a template out of cardboard. Um, from here to here, the f thickest it gets is 4 inches. Total length is 26 inches from here to here which I feel is pretty normal for an extra large t-shirt as you can tell it's a recycled t-shirt flip it inside out first too so yeah you'll see why later but yeah make your or I cut like little slits out here too that's where I used to keep but I figured it's better to put it down lower and not too low you know you still want your whatever you're gonna put in there to be able to stay in there so I recently just moved my two marks there whatever it's not doesn't work too well up here so extra large t-shirt makes about four boy two pairs next step oh yeah to help you out like when you're trying to make the round thing like I just measured four inches across found the center and then I use something round like this to like you know make it round on the ball perfectly round you don't have to do that I guess you could freehand it all even if you wanted to but I don't know, I like to make shit weird like that, perfect I guess. So, I don't have a good enough setup to like film myself tracing it, but obviously all I do is take the mark, black marker and trace it, make sure your shirt is real flat, all the edges are even, no wrinkles and stuff. I mean, I guess that doesn't even matter until you're actually ready to sew, but I mean, right here, yeah, you just trace it, so I'll trace it and then I'll show you. Okay, so once you have... The desired amount of poi traced onto the t-shirt. It is time to sew. Again, make sure that the t-shirt is inside out when you sew. Hmm. So, to the sewing part. Sewing sucks. I mean, it sucks. It took me forever to even figure out what like a bobbin was. Like it it's hard so I mean if you already know how to sew then you're in the clear but yeah I am obtaining a sewing machine from a neighbor seriously I would never touch a sewing machine but for the sake of poi I came up on one and figured out how to use it now I'm making my own poi so first talk about the stitching well yeah you have to figure out how to use the machine first but I started out with using just the normal stitch the number one and my prototypes and that did not work too well I think the best one I used was number nine or number I think actually number 12 I can't tell because I don't have any of the poi on me that I made but it's either nine or twelve just to get like a super strong stitching I mean all these other ones are bunkers you know like embroidering stuff but just a solid stitch even number four might work or number two but just to get like a solid stitch and then I used like a 12 or the 9. So like I said, I suck at sewing. And I'm not going to, I don't have the setup to film myself sewing. But I will give you a few pointers that I've picked up along the way. Try to start at one of your hash marks. You know, your opening marks. For where you're going to leave the opening. And then sew your way from that one, op this opening line down all the way around to the next opening line also at each point you know where it's open like I was saying like these two points there's a, I'm starting on the first point right here so it's under the stopper thing but right there on those edges it, I like to kinda like push the pedal and like hold the garment there a little longer sometimes it gets tangled up but it adds a bunch more stitching to that spot and makes it more strong I mean, I'm sure there's probably a real way to do that, but like I said, I suck at fucking sewing, so I mean, that's the only way I've done it so far. It seems to it work. It also well. helps if you do a few test runs on, like, a piece of garment. Like, obviously, I cut the sleeves off, and this is the sleeve, but just to get the, make sure your sewing machine's doing the right stitch before you start on your... So the number 12 stitch wasn't quite the one I was looking for, as you can, well, you might not be able to tell because my shitty camera, but did not leave me with the desired stitch or look that I was going for 
but it's still really strong stitch so it should hold together I'm gonna do the second one with the same stitch but the other pair for the sake just for the sake of keeping them the same I mean I'm gonna be doing the same stitch on that trace but on these two I will try a different stitch and see if that was never mind that is the right stitch because like I said um, flip your t-shirt inside out so this would be the wrong side of the stitching the other side this is gonna be the inside what you will actually see will be a lot cleaner and more tight and stitched together once you sewed your next step is to cut I leave like a eighth of your stitching that should be good. So, okay so once you have your poi one sock cut out you flip it inside out from the hole that you left there for inserting stuff. This side's pretty easy to flip out inside out. This one a little bit harder, but I found if you go in with these, grab the tip, pull it out, it's pretty easy. After you flip it out, you have your sock. Fill it with whatever you want from the slit you left open. I use balloons with like 180 grams of rice in them. Because they tend to be able to like squish in there well and slide down. I mean, if you want to put something bigger, I suggest making that slit a lot bigger or adding a zipper or Velcro of some sort. And I guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps someone. Go make some socks. Like.